Hello, I'm Nancy Seaman, and today we will be going over some concepts that have to do with the composition of a shot, such as the rule of thirds, wide, medium, and close-up shots, headroom, and depth of field. Let's get started. The rule of thirds is a compositional rule of thumb for filming. The rule states that an image should be imagined as divided into nine equal parts by two equally spaced horizontal lines and two equally spaced vertical lines, and that important compositional elements should be placed along these lines or their intersections. In other words, look at this shot. Now, this shot is important to have if she is addressing the camera like the president addresses the nation with a speech from the Oval Office. However, when you come to an interview situation like this, you want to give her nose room which is the distance in front of her face to the side of the screen. And so if you move the shot over it becomes more appealing. For the bulk of this class you'll be using four major shots. One, the interview shot like we just discussed. Two, the wide shot. Three, medium shot. And four, close-up shot. This is an example of a bad wide shot. My subject is Lewis Hall. Now, there is no need for me to have the library in the shot, also it is unlevel and crooked. Now this is a good wide shot. This shot, I adjusted tri the tripod to level using both the bubble on the tripod and reviewing the shot in my viewfinder before recording. I also frame the shot so Lewis Hall is now in perfect composition. Next is a medium shot. This shot is not only crooked, but my subject is way too close to the bottom of the shot. This is a good medium shot. Not too wide, but not too close. I balance the shot on the tripod and also position the subject matter on the bottom quarter of the screen following the rule of thirds. The subject within this shot is now more appealing. Now for a close-up shot. This should be a closer shot of your subject. But be careful with this because you need to make sure you aren't too close to your subject like this bad example. This shot is not too close and it is not crooked, which makes it a good close-up shot. When you have a person in the shot, such as for an interview, one major thing you must consider is the headroom of the shot. Headroom is the space between your subject's head and the top of the shot. You don't want too much headroom such as in this shot and you don't want too little headroom and cut their heads off like this. You need to be able to find the perfect medium of headroom like in this shot. Now depth and foreground is important in a shot because it causes the shot to appear more cinematic and professional. This sh next shot demonstrates having a foreground because I'm filming through the plant at my subject the plant is said to be in the foreground of my shot which basically means in front of my subject. Yet depth is also very important with a shot. So say we move the plant right beside our subject. This makes the shot have no depth whatsoever. But if we move the plant behind her, it gives the shot more depth and makes it more interesting. Another little extra tip for field production is to make sure that when the shot is composed for film, you wait at least 10 seconds to ensure enough time on the b-roll to be edited. So let's review. Today we learned about the rule of thirds, how to film a wide, medium, and close-up shot, headroom, and depth of field. And now you know more about the composition of a shot. So until next time, keep on filming.